good morning uh, from Krakow. My name is uh, Jan Piasecki. I'm a principal investigator of the web immunization uh, team. Um, I would like to welcome uh, our speakers, participants, and of course, our viewers. And before I invite our, our honorary guests to welcome you on behalf of the Jagiellonian University Medical uh, College, um, I just want to remind you uh, a few things about, the, uh, about our, our project. So our project, the Web Immunization Project, is funded by the EEA uh, grants and National Science Center in Poland. Uh, and you can learn more about the project uh, by visiting our website, www.webimmunization.cm-uj.krakow.pl. You can find there that our research consortium consists of uh, four institutions, the other dimension, uh, Jagiellonian University Medical College, University of Oslo, Poznan University of Technology, and the Institute of Pharmacology, Polish Academy of Sciences. This event is organized by the Jagiellonian University Medical College and the Kościuszko Institute. Mm. And I would like also to give you a few hints about the eccty.io platform, uh, some technical expl explanations because most of you uh, connect, uh, are, are connected with us through this platform. So uh, first of all, uh, every participant can ask questions. So there is a special uh, questions window just below the live streaming. And your questions uh, will be submitted to our question uh, questions moderators. Then if your question is accepted, it will be visible to all participants. Uh, at the end of every session, our moderators will, will submit these questions uh, to uh, speakers, but also throughout the whole conference, uh, these questions can also generate a kind of discussion between participants and, uh, um, and the speakers. So uh, first, uh, four sessions are held in English, so please ask questions in English. The last session is in Polish, and of course, uh, during this last session, all questions should be submitted in Polish. And um, I also uh, have to remind you uh, that you have to log in separately to every session. So it doesn't happen uh, automatically. You, there is a special icon on the left hand, like two notes, like a symbol of music. When you click this note, it will uh, take uh, it will take you to the current current session, but you can also do it through agenda as uh, as you log into the to the first uh, session. There is also a, a chat for participants. The chat is on the right down uh, uh, section of your screen. There is a special icon for chat, and in the chat you can uh, have a discussion with all participants or you can separate some participants from the list. So you can use chat both to have discussions and to network with other uh, participants. And there also is another chat on the right side, but this chat is just to communicate some technical issues from the technical and uh, organization staff uh, to our um, uh, participants and uh, viewers. Uh, also, I want to remind you that the all sessions are uh, being recorded and they will be available on the uh, ECCTO platform and on our website. Uh, and uh, I will be, let's say, a meta host of, of, of each session and I will do my best to navigate you through, through the whole conference. But I have to warn you that we connect with our speakers from uh, which are in multiple lo locations and we have to rely on different 
uh, internet providers. So there always can be some technical issues. I can assure you that when something like this happens, we are doing everything in order to resolve the problem. Uh, and I just ask you for your understanding and, and patience if something like this happens. So uh, right now, I think that we can get started. And I would like to invite Professor uh, Mar Marek Sanak, Vice Rector, uh, Proxy for Research and uh, International uh, Cooperation. Uh, Professor uh, Sanak, please. Thank you very much. It's official message from the authorities of Jagiellonian University and the medical faculty. So I take my liberty of being short. Uh, welcome. I'm very glad that you found a way to cooperate in this Norwegian funds sponsored uh, uh, team. I found the name of this meeting and the task group web immunization quite provocative because in my simple physician's understanding, web and the internet goes hand by hand with misinformation as well. And if we remember Cambridge Analytica and Facebook stories and big data mining, which enabled profiling of individuals, it's kind of a danger which is new to us, which was presented before by some individuals and their publications only, and the reach of these ideas was much near, much closer, so perhaps web immunization should be a counterattack against these ideas. Also, immunization in language of physicians is uh, one of the greatest success in medicine, and uh, it's valid now due to pandemic, and we face the approach to immunize the society against SARS-CoV-2, which will start perhaps in next two months. And uh, as we notice from anti-vaccine movements, it will be also fought by uh, using this social media as well. So I will listen uh, to, your, to your presentations with uh, some hope that you will find a solution to to take uh, resilience against, as you mentioned in the subtitle. So I wish you, I welcome our honorary guests, all speakers and participants, and wish you interesting presentations, seamless connections, not interrupted by misin misinformation on our technical problems. And uh, uh, that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Professor Sanak. Right now, I would like to uh, invite and announce the Deputy Dean for Research and Development of the Faculty of Health Sciences, uh, Professor Marcin Valigura. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to welcome you at the faculty, to host you at the Faculty of uh, Health Science. Uh, it's a pity that uh, you cannot be in Krakow, maybe next time, since the pro project is quite long. It's a warm, green, and beautiful right now in Krakow. So you 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 lost a lot. <clears throat> half of the uh, half of the world is looking for the immunity right now, uh, mostly against uh, SARS-CoV-2. Another half is fighting with uh, misinformation in the internet. So perhaps it's uh, no more hot topic that you you have web immunization. Uh, it's hot topic. Uh, it's it's attractive. It it gets attention, but uh, I really believe it's extremely important. Uh, democracy rely on it. Uh, health sciences and medicine also rely on it. Uh, Anti-vaccines movement is extremely dangerous for for medicine and for society. Uh, well, so we, we do believe that you, you will work on that hard and uh, perhaps provide us with some tools and solutions to, <clears throat> to stop, stop misinformation. And uh, good luck. Uh, and I wish you, wish you fruitful, fruitful discussions today in a fruitful conference. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, uh, Professor. And uh, the, the last word uh, goes to the head of the Department of Philosophy and uh, Bioethics, Professor Jan Hartmann. Professor, uh, please. Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm really very glad and proud um, that he and our department host you and that is such a hot issue will be discussed here. I think that Dr. Piasetsky's research project belongs uh, to the most urgent fields of social studies. Uh, and I'm really happy that we can participate. It's a great thing to us. Myself, apart from being a professor uh, in philosophy, I'm also a columnist and sometimes even journalist. And even for myself, it is sometimes quite hard to tell the truth from the false. However, I do not think that nowadays there are more fake news than before. That's not the problem of quantity. There are perhaps more clever, these misinformations or fake news are perhaps more clever and more professionally fit. Uh, so I get misled sometimes and sometimes I surrender and pass on to the public something which later on proves to be false. Very shameful, but it happens to many of us. Uh, in the communist times, that I still remember, it was much easier to identify uh, which was uh, called political propaganda. Now it is more difficult and sometimes requires some help. And there is some systems in, in this field. There are special services in internet devoted to this. Uh, also very good sources of information, much better than before, much more miscellaneous, uh, much more independent than uh, at any time before. So in, in, in a sense, we are in a better position than before, than ever, I would say. However, people, most of people, most of the users are not instructed uh, which sources of media are really trustworthy and how to check it, how to get it down. It's a jungle. Internet is much more a jungle than any press before this era. And in my opinion, this is right crucial, defining orientation points in the media. Uh, it should be better understandable to people that information should be complete authorized and completed with some enumeration of the sources at stake. It's a question of education. There is no such an education in schools. So people are very helpless and vulnerable. Uh, it can be very easily targeted um, by those who intentionally spread misinformation. But there is also a philosophical side of this great problem you are going to discuss. Hmm. I think that in our times, uh, the truth because we are talking just about truth and false. This is, the, this is the top. How to let the truth win. Um, so the truth becomes, in my opinion, more important in social life than it has ever been. Since more people decide upon information, our life is so much complicated, interrelated, other people's lives, that we rely on information much more than uh, in the world. The more informed we want to be, the more vulnerable the question of truth becomes. So we need the truth, and we have very large access to the truth. But this access is polluted, there are obstacles on our way to the truth. 
And the problem uh, is going to grow because of new technologies coming, especially technologies of so-called deep fake. We sing uh, gradually into virtual reality and perhaps less care about facts. Most of us are less and less about what is really true. So we feel sometimes even better without knowing the truth. Uh, that search for all which can comfort us. We have much more uh, uh, acceptance for good news than bad news. And we, uh, we are not that much devoted to the truth that we like to think about ourselves. And uh, the truth, the truth is usually more difficult than illusion or, or lies. Uh, sometimes the truth is less exciting. Usually it's much more complicated. Usually it's not very clear. Um, and this is the, also, also the educated people, affluent people. Uh, are seduced by, by uh, illusions and m m misleading uh, uh, messages. Because we like them. Press information provides us with other values than truth, sometimes more important to us than the truth itself. It provides us with sort of psychological consistency, with some some, some excitement uh, with a feeling of participation or being part of a community with feeling of identity. So media now is a playground for these competing values and well-informed society has never existed does not exist now, but we need it. And the struggle for it is still an enlightened ideal that is ahead. And I'm really glad that we, our department, Dr. Kutetsky and you participants, can, well, provide a contribution to this crucial process. So once again, welcome at our department. As Professor Parigura said, next time see you in Krakow. <laughs> that is not that green. <laughs> However, in, in uh, spring, really one of the best in Europe. All the best for today. All the best for your life. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Professor Hartmann. Uh, right now we are a little bit ahead of time, so uh, the next uh, session starts exactly um, uh, 10 past 9. So now we have a very short break and we will be back soon. Thank you and see you soon.